Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Now when it comes to extras, what do both devices bring to the table than just what comes on the device? Or what does it really have that's extra that we don't have in every other smartphone? Well, the extra feature that the iPhone has definitely has to be the Touch ID. Touch ID allows you to scan your fingerprint and become a fingerprint scanner to unlock your device. Other than that, you do have, of course, NFC, which is available on finally on the iPhone 6. Um, of course, the Galaxy Alpha has both of these two, uh, and the additional hardware feature it has is going to be a heart rate monitor on the back, and uh, that is going to be the main feature uh, for hardware it has. However, you do have a removable battery on the Alpha, which you do not have the ability to do on the iPhone 6 does of course have NFC but the even bigger feature is that you do have lots of other features uh, with Samsung that you do, you do not have the ability to have on Apple. Uh, some of them are using a entirely way to hide all of your photos and videos through private mode via the fingerprint scanner. Uh, the, my favorite is of course uh, multi-window allowing you to use two apps on the screen at once. Something that uh, we thought was coming to Apple but never did. And of course, ultra power saving mode, which gives you uh, a really ridiculously long battery life that uh, just the iPhone pales in comparison to. So for those extras, uh, extras definitely just have to go to the Galaxy Alpha over the iPhone 6.